It's hot, but it's good. Especially hot today. Yeah. Is that Austin weather we've been hearing about? How'd your set go today? It was amazing from my side. Oh man, this heat put us to work, but we uh, we just tried to have a really good time and make people dance, and I think we did a good job at that. Absolutely, absolutely. Have you guys been playing multiple shows during South by? Is there anything you're excited to play? You know, coming up. Oh uh, yeah, we played a bunch of shows. <laughs> we got the Rachel Ray uh, house party tomorrow, and we're really looking forward to getting some good food. And that'll be our last uh, show of South by. So, looking forward to wrapping it up. You know? Awesome! I know after this, you guys are going to continue like on your newest European tour, which is exciting. What are you guys looking forward to during that? Eating some good food and drinking some good wine, baby. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Any specific countries you're excited to go to or any cities you're excited to visit? I really enjoyed Berlin the last time we were there. That was a lot of fun. I, I keep hearing Brighton is a really beautiful city, so we'll be there for the Great Escape Festival. Yeah, watching the uh, Stax review in Europe was like a huge inspiration for like making this record. It, I think it was one of our goals from the beginning to go to Europe, so I'm really excited about playing there. So you guys met in college, right? Right, yeah. How did you guys kind of link up together, get your sounds meshed? How did that come to birth as Duran and the Indication? Well, um, I moved up to Indiana from Louisiana to uh, work on saxophone, and I got a job coaching horn, horns and writing horn charts for a class where Blake was working as a sound engineer. and. Uh, that year, the class, the IU Soul Review, they were short on guy singers. So the director asked me to sing, and I reluctantly said, yeah. But uh, Blake heard me and handed me a Charles Bradley CD and told me that he and his buddy Aaron were in their own band, Charlie Patton's were, and they wrote soul tunes, you know, on the side and uh, asked me if I wanted to come and hang out. And that's really how this all happened to be. That's amazing. And your first record was kind of like anomaly the way it came about. I saw you guys had a 400 something dollar budget and then it was pressed on 45s. How did that kind of come about? You know, just the process and the pressings. How did that? I mean, it was just a matter of hanging out every Sunday and we would listen to records and then we'd go down in the basement and try to write our own. I, we didn't really have any aspiration for it. I mean, other than putting out a record is awesome to get to hold a physical piece of music in your hand and be like, I made this, you know. So um, we wound up putting it out on Coal Mine Records, who have a really great relationship uh, with brick and mortar record shops. And that's uh, really what gave it its initial push, is the record stores gave it to 45 collectors, to um, just different music fans across the spectrum. And um, that's what brought us our first booking agent, who helped us get in touch with management, which led to a record, you know, uh, this new record deal, so, um, yeah. Do you guys plan on making music the same way in the future? Are you going to press more records, keep releasing it that way, or? Um, we've really come to embrace the fans who enjoy collecting the 45s. They've become like a core group of our fan base, and we really, like, love them. Shout out to all you folks out there. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, like, we, we definitely want to, push ourselves and, and write more tunes that are utilized, you know, more of Aaron because he's such a fabulous singer as well, you know, and um, and also everybody else, you know, get some group vocals going and I guess at the core of it all, you know, just write really well soul music, yeah. Yeah, well you're doing great so far. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Is there anything close on the horizon? Do you have that, are you guys in the studio now when you're not on the road? 
I mean, we're we're always coming up with ideas and demoing. Um, we just today actually is the uh, release of the deluxe reissue of our debut album, and it comes with a live record attached uh, from our last tour. And then uh, in a couple weeks, we'll be putting out a uh, new 45 um, with two covers, a couple of our favorite tunes, uh, with me singing on one side, Duran singing on the other side. Um, yeah, so we're really excited to keep putting out new tunes and keep writing. That's awesome, that's awesome. So, I guess that's all I really have today. It's been amazing to talk to you guys. Yeah, for sure. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your South by. And make sure you check them out on all of the social medias. We'll link it down below. And check us out at Austin Underground. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, peace.